everyone hope all of you are doing well today we are going to discuss the physics textbook exercises and solutions from the chapter electric charges and fields of grade 12 now we can start with the first question page number 46 and question number 1.1 what is the force between two small charged spheres having charges of 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb placed 30 cm apart in air here we have to find the force between two charged spheres the charges of each spheres and the distance between them is given whenever you are getting a numerical problem you have to read the question carefully and then write down the given quantities with units then we have to find out the equation by using the given quantities here which equation can be used here we have q1 q2 and r right then force we have to calculate is there any equation connecting these four yes we have coulomb's law right by using coulomb's law we can find out the force between the spheres right so which is the equation f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square so that equation we can write down when you answer the question you have to write it in step by step so how we can start the charge on the first sphere we can take it as q1 that is equal to 2 into 10 to the minus 7 coulomb and the charge on second sphere we can take as q2 that will be equal to 3 into 10 to the minus 7 coulomb okay and the distance between the spheres r equal to 30 cm that 30 cm we have to convert into 0.3 meters then we can write the equation for finding the force that is f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square here epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space and its value is 8.854 into 10 to the minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square so that this 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is a constant right because pi and epsilon 0 are constant so we can calculate that that means 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 equal to 1 by 4 into 3.14 into 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12 so that value is found to be 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so that value will be a constant so whenever we calculate force we can substitute that value okay then we will get f is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into q1 into q2 that means 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 divided by r square that means 0.3 the whole square so that value is found to be 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton hence the force between the two small charged spheres is 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton and the charges are of same nature right therefore the force will be repulsive in nature question number 1.2 the electrostatic force on a small sphere of charge 0.4 microcoulomb due to another small sphere of charge minus 0.8 microcoulomb in air is 0.2 newton a what is the distance between the two spheres b what is the force on the second sphere due to the first here the charges of both the spheres and the force on first sphere due to second is also given we have to calculate the distance between the two spheres and also the force on the second sphere due to first also we have to calculate now we can write down the given quantities the electrostatic force on the first sphere that is f is equal to 0.2 newton and charge on this sphere q1 that is 0.4 micro coulomb that micro coulomb we have to convert into coulombs that is 1 micro coulomb is equal to 10 to the minus 6 coulomb so the value will be 0.4 into 10 to the minus 6 coulomb and the charge on the second sphere is q2 that is minus 0.8 micro coulomb again we can convert the micro coulomb into coulomb that is 0.8 into 10 to the minus 6 coulomb now we have to find out the equation for finding the distance between the two spheres which equation can be used here we have q1 q2 and f we have to calculate r again we can connect the four quantities with the coulomb's law right so the same equation can be used that is f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square here epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space and we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 as 9 into 10 to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square 
here we have to calculate r right therefore we can rearrange the equation that is r square will be equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into f now we can substitute the values of q1 q2 and f that is 0 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 6 into point minus 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 9 into 10 raised to 9 divided by 0 0.2 so that value is found to be 144 into 10 raised to minus 4 then r value we have to calculate now we have r square then r will be equal to root of 144 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is equal to 0 0.12 meters now we got the distance between the spheres as 0 0.12 meter right but now we have one more question that is the force on second sphere due to the first also we have to find out so how we will find we know that both the spheres attract each other with the same force right therefore the force on the second sphere due to the first also will be the same right so that also will be 0 0.2 newton now we can move to the next question question number 1.3 the question is check that the ratio k e square by g m e m p is dimensionless look up a table of physical constants and determine the value of this ratio what does the ratio signify here we have to find the dimension and the value of k e square by g m e m p now we can write down the given quantities that is the ratio is given as k e square by g into m e m p here we have g as the gravitational constant and its unit is newton meter square per kilogram square me and mp are the masses of electron and proton their unit is kilogram and e is the electric charge and its unit is coulomb k is a constant and its value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 here epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space and its unit is newton meter square per coulomb square now we can substitute the units for the given ratio then we will get ke square by g m e m p is equal to newton meter square coulomb raised to minus 2 and uh, c raised to minus 2 divided by newton meter square kilogram raised to minus 2 kilogram and kilogram so all the quantities will get cancelled and then we will get the dimension as m0 l0 t0 that means the ratio is dimensionless in order to find the value of the ratio we have to substitute the values okay that is e equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb g equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square m e is equal to 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram and m p is equal to 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram now we can substitute the values in the given ratio that is k e square by g m e m p is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 whole square divided by 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 into 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 that is approximately equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to 30 this is the ratio of electric force to the gravitational force between a proton and an electron keeping distance between them constant next is question number 1.4 explain the meaning of the statement electric charge of a body is quantized why can one ignore quantization of electric charge when dealing with macroscopic that is large scale charges electric charge of a body is quantized this means that only integral numbers that is 1 2 3 etc and of electrons can be transferred from one body to the other uh, charges are not transferred in fraction hence a body possesses total charge only in integral multiples of electric charge now we can answer the second part of the question that means in the case of ma macroscopic charges the charges used are huge as compared to the magnitude of electric charge hence quantization of electric charge is no use on macroscopic scale therefore it is ignored and it is considered that electric charge is continuous now we can conclude the video the questions from 1.5 onwards we can discuss in the next part if you like my video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching